In the last video, we worked this same problem out using some pretty basic algebra. But um, some people just don't like doing it that way. They just really don't like algebra at all. So here, I'm going to show another way to do the same problem where you're using algebra, but you don't really, might not really realize you're using algebra. And I like doing these problems this way. This way, um, it just makes things really easy, I think. So here, I'll read the problem again, and that's it's a weighted probability problem where we know that um, all the probabilities, oops, I didn't mean to do that. All the probabilities together are going to add up to one, which I've represented here. We'll weight of outcome one plus the weight of outcome two plus the weight of outcome three plus the weight of outcome four plus the weight of outcome five are all going to equal one. Okay, so over here we have w1 equals two times w2, w2 equals w3 equals w4, so all these probabilities are equal to each other. W5 equals three times the weight of outcome two, okay? And down here I've written out all the different weights, and I'm going to show you how we're going to represent those. Basically, we know that these haven't been given any kind of additional value because they're not equal to twice anything else. They're just all equal to each other. So in that case, let's just think about these. This is a strange way to think. Let's think about them as um, like tennis balls, for example. So we'll take two, three, and four, make them equal to just one tennis ball. Okay, and then we'll look at the weight of outcome one is twice the weight of outcome two. So we can represent that as two tennis balls. And we can look at the weight of outcome five and see that that's equal to three times the weight of outcome two. Well, if we have one tennis ball on outcome two, we'll, we'll, that means we'll have three on outcome five. It's the weight of this probability is three times that, so that's three tennis balls. Okay, so altogether we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight tennis balls altogether. Okay, and each probability is represented by a number of tennis balls, so we know that, well, the weight of outcome one must be two eighths. The weight of outcome two must be one eighth. One eighth and one eighth. And then W5 is worth three eighths. And so that's a very simple, easy way to solve for probability. And that gives us our answer to the problem, which is we were looking for W4 specifically, which is has a probability of one eighth. So I hope that helped.